Hello and welcome back to Battle Brothers with me, Barden. Right, so we're going to hop in here and first thing I'm going to do is go to the contracts. Gunthrum of Wadoff welcomes you and walks you towards Wadoff Square. There's a party of peasants milling about, but when they see you coming, they shape up and start talking as though they'd, ex they'd been expecting you all along. They're mostly talking to scripters, tall as any man, armor like you'd never seen before. Spears as sharp as a peddler's tongue. You hold your hands up and ask what it is they're talking about. Guntram of Wadoff laughs. The men here say they saw some oddities at the spot by the name of Runes of Kragenheim, just east of here. Naturally, they weren't out there for no reason. They were looking for something by the name of Forefather Standard, a relic dear to the town, for though it, through it we pray for food and shelter. Wonder Present speaks up. And we was looking for it at his behest. Going through a weight of nods, of course. And where they fail, perhaps you can succeed. Get this relic for me, and you'll be paid quite well for your services. Pay no mind to their fairy tale. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Let's talk money then. Rest assured that what I'm offering you now is a fine price for the work. It's 430 crowns, and it's done. Uh, maybe a bit more? No way! He shouts, bursting with anger. You receive 430 crowns when the contract is done. Okay, we accept. And I think we'll just accept and go. Yeah, let's see that. Okay, so let's leave. So we have one new guy, uh, which is this guy here, Reinhold. So I hired him off camera. And then I did a few little other things as well. So uh, Freddy and Emric have these long axes because we can use them to break shields and they also do uh, quite a bit of damage. Then Ryan now has our, our battle standard which I should have used before. Um, so that's nice and actually he should be probably in the middle so he can affect more people. Yeah. And then what else to do? Um, Braskus, I switched out his helmet because it was pretty badly dented. I gave um, Havard a kite shield and a few other things. But we're going to head off now and go this, do this fight. So, ah, here's over here. Okay, let's go do that. A once proud fortress now lying in ruins, an unknown garrison. So I think this is going to be the, what are they called? Like the skeleton warrior guys that we fought before that have the, the green armor and stuff. The stuff that we were using for a while before we got better stuff. So they're not going to be a walkover. And probably 430 crowns is a cheap price for that guy to pay for us to fight these things if that's what they are. Pretty sure they, it is though, because it's a fortress. Or, uh, um, oh god, there's undead there. Yeah, don't fight them. <laughs> See, undead. Yeah, it's these guys. You don't step into the ruins so much as clamber, hobbling over the stonework like a bat trying to walk upright. Getting to the bottom of the descent, you find what looks like hundreds of clay pots, old chariots, more mulched than wood, and metal water basins filled with rusted shields and spears. David's trying takes a torch and throws its glow towards the walls. Great murals run, run along the length of them. Great artworks depicting battles you've never heard of. Each step he takes seems to unveil another ancient victory until, finally, you come to a giant painted map. There you see a continent overrun with the rule of an empire. Gilded its beddy, blackened its borders. David's trying walks over, the forefather standard in hand. You nod and tell him it's time to go. When the two of you turn around, there's a man standing there, with a spear in one hand and a shield in the other. Another figure joins him, and another, their steps hitting the stone floor with metal malice. You get out to Mercy to run, and both of you abandon the ruins in a hurry, the, the staccato clap of a death march on your heels. Outside you wheel around and order your men to get ready for a fight. Before the first cell sword can so much as draw his sword, a stream of armored soldiers emerge from the ruins. That formation and level their spears at you. 
Their lieutenant points a decayed finger and speaks with a voice so gravelled the words weigh deep in your chest. The Empire rises. The false king must die. We're no false king. Many ancient auxiliaries. Okay. Let's see how many is many. Nine. Okay. Nine against twelve. Still a bit difficult, I have to say. Right, so Gay Knight, move up one square and get Shield Wall up. Okay, David, you're gonna wait. Emmerich, you're gonna wait. Einhold, wait. Havard, move up one. Spear Wall, please. Okay. Brian, wait, please. Thalric, move up one. And then Spear Wall. Freddy, move up there. Okay. Raskus, get yourself there. Spear Wall. Okay. Helfric, there. And Spear Wall. Morjax, go there. And Shield up. Okay, it's not going to get to us this round. I'm a bit worried about how many there are down this end. Lum, plug the gap, and give us a spear wall. Yeah, they seem to be massing down this end. Right, David, take your shots. 42, 42 there, 42 there. I think one of, the, probably this guy because of the amount of them down here. Okay, well, if we hit him, oh, there we go, we hit him, okay. Amrick, move yourself in there. Yep, yeah. and then end your turn. Reinhold, get up here on the high ground. Go for that guy. Okay, bit of a miss there. Ryan, get in here. Okay. Okay, let's wait with you and you. Okay, a few of them are waiting actually. Okay, hit that guy again. Okay, but we're not doing all that much damage to him, that's a big problem. Game Knight, get your shield up. Okay, good job, shield wall. Okay, or spear wall, should I say. Right, so that's going to be a problem then coming around the side there. Havard. Shield up for now. And spear wall. More jacks. Shield up. Thalric. Let's see. 46. 51. And 69. Okay, and then shield up. Mask is you gotta go for this guy. Okay, good hit. Keep that shield up. Alfred 37 and 37. So let's go for you. Lum, same guy. Emric. Okay, Freddy, let's actually try to break his shield. Oh, not quite, but hit it at least. Okay, 
Okay, nice. Spare while doing some work for us. Oh, doing a lot of work. Look at all his bones on the ground. Beautiful. Ryan. Who are we going to go for? 72. It's got to be 72, isn't it? Oh, oh nice. Good job, buddy. Okay, Emric. Let's try break the shield. Okay. David. We've got a lot of guys coming now. 38. 38 might be your best shot. 42 over there. I'm going to go for him just because he's he's threatening the sides. Okay, that's a good shot. One hold. You go for the same guy. Okay, nice hit. Okay, good. Ow, not so good. Ouch. Right. Go for him. Oh, cool. It's a kill. Or, what would you call it when you... When they're already dead? <laughs> Is it a really a kill? It's not an exorcism, is it? <laughs> oh, you're in big trouble. Okay, game night. Take a bash. Go again. Okay, good hit. More jacks. Move here, buddy. Stab him. Okay, good. Freddy, can you finish him off? You certainly can. Okay. Now, Dalric, bruised, bruised. You gotta go for him though. Oh, that was not good. Braskus, you can only go for him. Okay. And then again. Elfric. Try it. Okay, go again. A bird. Move here, buddy. Go for him. And long. Go for this guy. Right, Emric. Gotta go for him. Or you could actually kill him. But this guy is threatening him. But if we get him, then we could start moving people. So do that. Okay, that's good. That's not so good. Ouch. Okay, Ryan. Move here, buddy. Go for him. <sighs> Ouch. Right, Freddy, buddy. Go for him. David. This guy. Okay. I went that guy. <laughs> More jacks. Come here. Attack him. Game night. Finish him. Okay, nice. And yeah, let's get game night to go here. Thalric. Push that guy. Okay, Braskus. Move here. Attack him. Ah, we needed a hit there. Havard. There. Okay. Halfric. And then Lum. Go for it, buddy. Okay. And can you finish him? No. Okay. Oh, he's gone. Okay.
Right, Ryan. Go for him. Nice. Freddy, move there. Take that shield away. Thank you. More jacks, go here. Stab him. Beautiful. Game night, get yourself up there. Okay. David, five, five, fifteen. Okay, we need to swap your equipment. Thalric, just go for that guy. Havard, get over here. Alfred, get yourself there. Lombardy, um, um, yeah, there, okay. Ouch, ouch. Thalric, you're done. Hang in there, guys. Okay, Ryan, crack eye. Nice. More jacks, get around there. Game night, we've been here. Let's see, seventy percent to kill him. Good. David, go there. Freddy, go there. Thalric, stab him. Avard, keep your stab. And again. Helfric, let's get you around here, buddy. Okay, long. <laughs> Gotta go the wrong, long way around, don't you? Okay, Braskis is out there. That's good. That's not too good. Okay, more jacks, buddy. Nice. Now move here. Okay. Game night. Him and go for it again. Okay, got him. So we lost Emric. Um, Reinhold survived, but poor old Emric, eh? He um, took part in three battles and got two kills, but it was just too much for him in the end because we got him killed. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at this. Signet ring. Nice. A jeweled signet ring should fetch a good price at the next city. Okay, we'll take that. And we leave. After the battle, the battle over and the forefathers' standard obtained, you tell them to prepare for a return to Guntram of Wadorf. You're not entirely sure who or what just attacked you, but right now it's time to get paid. Okay, so let's start heading back. Oh god, let's avoid those undead if we can. Looks like we travel faster than them. Oh, where the hell? No! No, 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 no. We're just running away. <laughs> Everyone just run. Where the hell did the game think we wanted to go that way? I guess we couldn't have crossed those mountains. That must have been it. Okay. But everyone is running away. And rightly so.
all the crazy zombie guys. Okay, let's keep running away. Gotta run faster, guys. Or at least run faster than the slowest person. And let them get killed instead of you. Lom, you could be the slowest person. Yeah, they're catching Lom. I'm not catching anyone else. So hopefully this is like an organized, considered to be an organized retreat in that like we don't take a penalty for doing it this way. Because otherwise I would just hit the retreat thing there if we're going to be taking injuries and stuff from it. Okay, Ryan, buddy, head over that way. Lom, <laughs> you're still screwed, buddy. They're catching you, they're catching you. Okay, Ryan, hold there. Get there. Ready, go over there. Thalric, you're going there. Game night, over there. Braskus, you go there. Elfric, you're over there. More jacks who are there. Okay, Ryan. Lum. Okay, Lum, get over there. Right, so everyone is here. So we're all there. So if we click this now, are you sure sometimes it's better to do a tactical retreat? Everyone in the ready edge of the map will be able to get away on skate, however. Okay, yeah. Retreat. Screw that. Let's leave. Let's run the hell away. Yeah, we go. We go. Actually, at the same speed as them, we don't go fast. Thought we did. Okay, now people need to go into the lovely tents. We won't talk about Halfrick. We never talk about the guys who don't come back. 
<laughs> okay, and... Uh, oh, it's not health for who's the other guy then? Yeah, wherever the guy was, he's gone, so it doesn't matter. Let's increase your max fatigue. And then let's give you some defense. Okay. And then perks. So you got that one. Let's do, yeah. Because getting getting enemies out of there is a is a big thing for us. If we can, if we can kill them off, it's going to be great. So so let's get over there quickly, quickly, quickly. We'll get our four hundred and thirty crowns, and then we'll leave this area. I think. Going from a white off meets you at the town square. You hand over the forefather's standard and the man cradles it as if it were an, an infant he thought lost. After a moment, the walker embraces with the relic he holds it up high, letting the townspeople see it. They cheer for time. Too long, truly. You have to elbow Gunthrum of Waydorf to remind him to pay you. Okay, but well, you did pay us. Nothing else there. We don't want to hire him. Um, See, we have three days and five days, and there's okay, that's a good price. Let's get that. Okay. That's not a bad price either, so let's get some of that, and then we should sell some stuff. So let's sell off this crap that we got, okay, and then sort. Ancient shield can bugger off. We're gonna wait to sell that somewhere else. We might get a better price somewhere else. Have enough for three days and three days. Okay. Let's sell that. And I guess a few shields as well. Okay, still three days. Yeah, we need we need another um, hundred or so. So we we'll leave and we we'll just get somewhere. Let's see. So let's try Horn Guard first. At Waydorf, while approaching Waydorf, a local man weighs you down. He's standing beside the skeleton, what appears to be a mill. Exasperated, he explains that his laborers didn't show up today and he needs to finish the mill before the lo a local baron arrives. If he doesn't finish it, the baron might not even give him another contract. We do have a few former laborers in the company. Perhaps they can be used to help the man? Alright, I can spare a man or, or few. You agree to lend. You agree to lend a few of the Barton Ballers' finest to the project. They fall back into their old roles like a glove, quickly bandying about to collect resources, hammering, bricking, dooring, whatever it is to put a door in. <laughs> they do it and quickly. When it's all said and done, the man, the local man, comes to you grinning ear to ear. He hands a satchel over. You've earned this, good sir, and more. You've earned my word. I shall spread your benevolence wherever I can. So we've got 150 crowns. Morgix is happy. Taff is happy. Um, Freddy and Taff are exhausted. Elfric is content. Okay. So let's continue on our way. So what do we have around um, here? So there's a herbalist. There's a barracks. Okay. Horn guard's probably a bit too big for us. Helaband might have been better. But we can go down to um Finwest Finsterwear. Yeah, we can go down there. Then we can go to our old stomping ground of weeks as well that we need. Got stone watchtower, wooden watchtower. 
blast furnace there as well. Okay. So we're not going to get anything here in terms of a contract. Yeah, they're still going to be locked to us. But um, we can sell stuff, we can get some dogs, we can go to the kennels, the kennel and a weaponsmith and an armor. Okay. Let's go here. So we get a better price for that, which is good. We get a better price for our wood as well, so we'll sell those off. So now we're okay on cash. We don't think, like we're not kind of worrying so much. Whole arm two-handed, that's really nice, but it's all of our cash. This is nice too. But again, it's expensive. Let's see. Leather tunic. I think this is stuff that we sold before. Kettle hat looks cool and all, but I don't think we're going to spend that much for that one. And these ones are just similar level to what we have. Okay, so food wise, um, well, let's sort things so we can see. So we have berries, we have cured venison and bread. So let's get some smoked ham. Okay, we probably could do with some medical supplies. It's not a bad price for them there, so do that. Um, let's see if there's anyone. What I'm really looking for is not a retired soldier at least, um, or a deserter. I'm looking for like an apprentice or something, someone who's gonna learn quickly. Wild man. No, these are all too expensive for us. And you're just probably not pretty good. Right, so we shall leave there, and then we're going to head down here to Finsterware. So you have to get that as well, rally the troop park on someone. Oh, this is locked as well. Okay, interesting. Marketplace, anything for trading? Mm, not really, no. Okay, let's leave there. Check out the guys. Got a lumberjack, and a butcher, and then a bowyer. Okay. Let's check our own people out. So, Robert Goodhand. Well, you're the new guy we got. Don't you remember hiring you? Took part in one battle and has one kill. I do not remember that guy at all. You need to go there. Hmm. Well, well done on the kill, Robert, but still don't know who the hell you are. <laughs> oh, okay. He was... We got him in the last video. Because we're thinking, hang on. How do we... I don't remember hiring him this time, but we hired, we hired him last time. So Freddy and Taff both need some rest. So we're going to leave. We're going to leave there. We're going to encamp. Actually, not just quite yet. Let's, let's get ourselves over towards Wies. How long does exhausted last anyway? It just says exhausted. Poor El Taft still has a broken knee as well. Doing all that work on a broken knee. Fair 
plate here. Let's go fast. Let's hope that we don't run into anyone. Okay, daytime. Get ourselves over to Wees. Go, go, go. Let's put it down to normal speed. Still exhausted, but Reinhold is back. Reinhold can go there. Swap you two guys around. Okay. Then Luke, have your bow back, buddy. And here we are at Reese. Hello. Right, so there's a contract, good. Let's see, you are a day tailor, so are you. You're a miller. You're a vagabond. You're a day tailor. Okay. Well, we're not desperate for people, so we're not going to hire any of you. Now, cloth is a good investment. We've seen that before. We should probably get some of that, but that means we have to sell stuff off, pay for it. Screw that and that, and those two. Keeping those around. We don't need so many spears, so let's get rid of a few. Probably get rid of some of these as well. There we go. Okay, and let's buy that. Let's get rid of loot as well. Okay, so we have some nice um, space there now. I think Tunic would be decent to get. Um, it's only 65, so let's get it. And let's go here. And. Who is this guy? Yeah. Let's give that to you. Okay, and then. I think we just no, we're gonna keep that around just in case we get someone who needs like just anything. Yeah, David, let's put you back on your bow. You kind of need another back um, guy with one of these axes now, so let's give that to Reinhold. Okay, and then let's check out this contract. You look at Torley the merchant's window and watch men load a few wagons with goods. Torley the merchant joins you. Two goblets of wine in hand. Take one and drink it all in one swig. The man stares at you. That wasn't cheap. You're supposed to enjoy it. He shrug. Sorry, can I have another one to get it right? Torley the merchant turns around and goes to his desk. So, I need a caravan guarded to Conning's, Conning's land. Pretty simple, right? There's plenty of crowns in it for you if you're interested. But let's talk money. He jingles with a bag of coins. This will be yours if you help me out on this. You are to receive 1180 crowns if the contract is done. You need to pay us more for this. Fair, would you accept this? You will be paid 1250 crowns if the contract is done. We accept. Um, let's see, we need to think about it because we need to get ourselves some more food. So, let's get some grain. We have our grain. We have okay. We need to we need to sell some more stuff because that needs to be up at um, four eighty three at least. So let's sell that. Let's sell that. Okay, so we should have. Oh no! Sorry, I'll talk about. 543. 
is what we need. Hmm. Two of those, but they are useful. Let's go to the hatchet. Okay, and then uh, one of these short swords, I guess. No. Okay, so now three days and three days. Let's leave and then accept this contract. And off we go. Okay, so caravan is four, so probably three guards and one donkey from what I've seen previously. So Southeast Conoclan. So I think it's around the corner from, like, go down here, or actually we're going to go across that way and down here, yeah, over here. One more day. Oh god. Prepare for combat. Some orc young, a few orc warriors. Okay, let's engage them. Orcs are no bloody joke, I'll tell you that. Oh no, did we not put yeah, we didn't put the full complement back. Right, we have to make these three guys um, work, so you're going to wait. David is going to, let's see, one, two, three. So David's going to move into the bush, and then over one, okay. We're going to basically make them fight whether they want to or not. Oh yeah, move beside us, why not? That's exactly what we wanted you to do. Let's move right hold over there. Wow, they look so scary. Robert. You go... You actually wait. Okay, Harvard. And go there. And give us a spear wall. Thalric. You're gonna wait. Ryan. Go there. Okay. More jacks, get yourself there, and then put that shield up. Lum, at your spot. Okay, game night over there. Shield up. Robert. Uh, go here. Okay, spear wall. And Thalric. Go here. Okay. This is going to be a tough fight. Right, David. I can only see him, so we'll try. Okay, now Luke. You can see this guy, he doesn't have a shield. It's still easier to hit this guy for some reason. Probably because of the formation actually. Mine holds, same guy maybe for you. Wow, you terrible chance to hit. Oh, but you hit him anyway. That's why you always take the 5% chances. Ouch. Ok, 
Okay, so they're going for those guys first, which is good. Ryan. Let's see. They're gonna wait. Thalric. Move to here. He gives some spear walls so we can protect that area. Okay, Lum is in a bit of trouble. Now, do we break formation and start coming in this way? So that would be game night, and you would be there. Okay, I'll do that. Then Morjax is going to go there. Okay, so we tracked that guy over. Robert. Robert is just going to end his turn for a moment. Game Knight is going to get a shield up and move in here. Ryan can now move there and take a stab at you. Oh, nice hit. Ouch. Okay, good job. Caravan Harren's doing some work. He's not so much so. David, 17, 22, 19. Okay, I want you to move to here. So it means we'll only have one shot, but it'll be a better chance to hit. And it also means that um, he's closer to help out when we need him to. Okay, it's a great job. Wow, he's gone for the donkey. Luke, buddy, go for him. Okay, get the kill. Almost, okay. Mine hold. You up here. Try to finish him. I suppose you have to. Okay, I'm lucky. Robert. Orkion. Should you go around? I think you should just stay where you are. Keep your shield up. Lum. Stab this guy. Shield up. Mordex, buddy. Let's get aggressive. Alric. Hmm. Shield up and move here. Ryan, buddy, go for him. Okay, game night. Go for same guy. Try again. Okay, good hit. Havard. We can't go there. Ooh. Did we just snoop ourselves? Move there. Oh. Stab him then. Okay, that's a good hit. These cavern guards are doing pretty well. David, finish him off, please. Try again. Okay, good. One dead. Reinhold, 5%, 5 now, okay, so, swap, and move there, okay, Robert, shield up for now, Luke, so 15, 16, how about this guy, 6, 26, 9, okay, try him, oh god, uh, okay, <laughs> let's pretend that didn't happen, eh, now Ryan, get him, nice,
more jacks. Get this guy. Yeah, that's it. Keep pressing him. Okay, Thalric. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, get your shield up. Game Knight, press him. And go again. Okay, good. We needed that. There, a bard. Go for him. And again. Okay, now Lum. Same guy. Okay, good. Yeah. Shield up. Okay. Mordex needs some help. Mine holds. Go here. Go for him. Oh, beautiful. Mordex. Stabby, stab, stab. Okay. David. 19. 47. Okay. Try again. Okay. That's a good hit. Roberts. Go here. Stab him. Luke. Go here. Okay. Ryan. Move over this way. Okay. Right, game night buddy. Get yourself there. Bash. Nice. Thalric. Go here. Stab him. Okay, he's gone. Havard. Go there. Stab him. Lum, come down. Let's see. Yeah, come down this way. Wait, right over here. Okay. Because we're going to have to go get that guy soon. Right, Reinhold, can you now. Oh, you can't hit him yet. Go there. Luke. Nice. Good hit, buddy. Robert. Get him. Okay. We're doing okay. More jacks. Now, yeah, rotation. Mm. Don't really want to rotate anyone in right now. But we have to do it. So, rotate with him. Just trying to save Mortex. Ryan, get the stab. Okay, he killed the donkey. David. 12 and 24. So move up here. 9. Okay. Not surprised he missed. Okay, good. Thalric, take the stab. Havard, let's keep pressing this guy. Lum, buddy, you just get your shield up in case that guy comes to you. Okay. Okay, another one dead. When hold, she go for shield. Luke, let's see, he's coming soon, so you're gonna delay till we see where he goes. Same with Robert. Okay, he's going away. So, let's attack this guy. Okay, good. David. Go there. Take a shot at him. Valerick. So I think we've lost the mission because we lost the donkey, but not sure. Valerick, get after him. Okay, 
Let's go for you. Okay. We might be able to kill him before he kills Morjax. Game Knight here. Right, so he's now handled. Beautiful. Harard, go there. Because we didn't get more steady stabs on him. Lum, get after this guy. You too, Luke. Robert, go here. Okay, let's run them down because we want to kill this guy. Reinhold, go for the kill. Luke, go here. Stab him. Okay, Robert. Go for him. Morjax, can you get the kill? Yes, you can. Okay, beautiful. Then we'll just move everyone in this general direction. But that guy's gonna get away. Okay, even David won't be able to shoot him now. Yeah, we know where the guys are. Something to move this way. I love Lum's eye patch, it's really cool. Okay, well, let's just move, guys. Luke. Go there. Okay, there we go. Right, so nobody died. Um, Morjix is a bit injured, and so is Lum. But not that bad. Okay, good. We'll take all of this crap. Actually, it's not crap. The tools and supplies is good. The gear, though, is pretty crap. Which is lucky for us. Okay, so... Let's check... Yeah, so Braskus, let's swap you for Lum. Let's take Morjix out for Helfric. And then we can go there. Taf can slide back in. Freddy can come back in as well. And Weinhold can have his ball back. Okay, and then we have a couple of level ups to do. So let's do um, Robert first. Right, so maximum fatigue would be nice. Then defense and attack. Okay, and then perks. Let's go fast adaptation. Okay. Now, Ryan. Let's level you up. Maximum fatigue, range defense, and melee attack. Okay, and then we're going to get him rally the troops. Rally the troops, unlock the rally the troops skill, which can rally fleeing allies and raise morale of all nearby allies to a steady level. Cool. Now, Lum. Let's see, backstabber, anticipation, shield expert. Yeah, that's going to be good for long. And then, oh, you level up, okay. So let's do all of your start stuff, all of your resolves. Yeah, let's do your resolves, okay. Is that done? Oh, we're still going, okay. Maybe we got a new donkey. I hope so. 
You were unsure at first about assigning Ryan to this important task, yeah, because he's Joker, for he was as com committed to revelry and carousing as any other man. But Ryan takes to his duties with a zeal that is at first admirable and later worrying, scoffing at dawn at the rising hour of the cowardly and infirm Ryan decides that everyone will start the day much earlier. He runs the men through the usual sparring routines and checks their equipment for splits and wear. But to such light work he adds strict rules about setting up and breaking camp, formation drills, lessons on flanking, forced marches with stones in their packs, and a detailed punishment regime for anyone who dares fall behind. Words such as backbreaking, cruel, flint-hearted and merciless as well as dozens of saltier epithets ring in the air whenever Ryan is safely out of earshot, though never when he is sleeping. For the brothers have learned that Ryan the Joker never truly sleeps. <laughs> cool. So the company gained renown, and we gained a sergeant sash. Ooh, nice. And then everyone is really happy, which is great. So yeah, we got this trading caravan with one guy who's obviously the, the one that's pulling the cart. Along the way, you notice the mutt a few miles back and a few miles forward he's still there, bobbing and slinking in and out of sight. A mongrel such as he shouldn't doesn't follow a band of dangerous men for no reason. Maybe someone is feeding it. If the company needs a mascot, take it in. You decide to take a chunk of meat and approach the dog. It is skittish at first, backing away as you approach, but the aroma you have in hand is an alluring one to be sure. The mongrel stinks back towards you, pausing here and there. Eyes flicking in search of an ambush, you can see a barrel of ribs on the dog. Many days on the road have given the pup a gaunt frame. Its ears are stitched up and its tail bolted with signs of battle. This here animal knows how to fight, and that's just what it'll be doing for you from now on. Okay, welcome to the company. Cool. We got a dog. Nice. He must be in our stash. There he is. And we have our sash as well. Plus 10 resolve. Our sash is worn. Um, okay, so is that where it goes? Yeah. Okay, so you're going to get a sash. So game night is going to be the sergeant. Um, it boosts his resolve, which you desperately need. <laughs> and who's going to get the dog? The dog needs to go on one of the ends, I think. And Loma's back, actually. Okay, so... Robert, you're going to come out for Lum. And we're going to give Lum the dog. No? Oh, where does he go? Oh, we're not, we're not on Lum, that's why. There we go. There you go, Lum. Enjoy your dog. <laughs> Campaigner. What does that mean? I just got that achievement. I'm not sure. Oh God. Goodbye, brigands. Come on, let's get here before... Okay. A fresh cool breeze is blowing today and you feel like it's a good time for the bars and balls to start something new. You call the men to gather around. What do you tell them? We need to catch the eye of one of the noble houses for more profitable work. They play their own dangerous game, but what does it matter as long as the pay is good? Let's get there. Let's not run into another fight. Screw you undead. No, I said screw you undead. Get there, get there, get there. Ahaha, ha, and they all come out to get you as well. My mission fulfilled. Thinking to set tongues wagon with the name the Barton's Ballers and thereby increase your prospects with the nobility, you push your men to great deeds, outstanding bravery and plentiful bloodshed. After several contracts and more than a few skirmishes, you worked hard enough and long enough to have some of the lords take notice of the company's confidence. 
These are the gentlefolk who rule the land by virtue of some long dead ancestor subjugating a group of unarmed peasants. As Game Knight the Punner puts it, <laughs> now these pampered inbred fops are well impressed enough with you to grind the company in one of their feuds. If you wash your face and ask politely, they should favour you with a profitable contract now and again. You can cr congratulate yourself. Gain renown, nobles will now give us contracts. You look on the world map. Your look on the world map has been updated. Um, and everyone is eager or content, which is great. Or good spirits as well. Okay. Having reached Konigsland, the leader of the wagon train has the caravan hands begin loading the goods. There are a few men short and a few carts short as well. Coming to you with the payment, the leader explains the situation. Totally the merchant made sure to pay you according to the product that arrived. Proportionally we lost some. You know and take the reward. The deal is a deal after all. So we only got like half pay or something. Okay. Well, half pay is better than no pay. And we're going to pop in here. So there's two contracts there. Um, we need to get some provisions. We need to sell some stuff as well. But all of that is going to happen next time. Because right now, um, I'm out of time for this video. So, as always, if you have enjoyed, please hit that like button. Share with a friend or two or on your favorite social media. And I really hope to see all of you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right and check out some other videos here on the left.